So now that we have a list of our tasks, we need to find a way to delete them. Now actually deleting a task using Eloquent is actually gonna be very simple. What we need to do is think about a few things along the way, and these are mainly security related. So what we don't want to do is create, say, an anchor in here to go and delete. Now, why would this be? Well, of course, if this was a user based task list, which we'll cover in the intermediate version of this series, then each user would own a task. Now, if you had a delete button, maybe when you click this, it goes along to something like tasks one, maybe to delete it, this would be a problem because you can very easily use cross-site request forgery to get around this. Now, I know we have cross-site request forgery checking within Laravel, but we don't have this for get roots because it doesn't make sense. If I were to go on here and I needed a token, it wouldn't make sense. Either way, let's forget about that for now and we'll implement this uh, with best practice. So to do this then, inside of our cell just here, we instead want to create a form. Now we already have the root set up to delete a task. So let's just return works here for now. So we can see this when uh, we eventually get this working. So this is slightly different because the action needs to be task and then the ID of the task. So let's just figure out how we would do that first. Well, we have URL we've already seen using this before and we have task and then we have forward slash, then we append on the task ID. So remember we are iterating through our tasks, so we now have the ID. And we want to set the method here to post. So inside of the form then, all we need is just a single button. So we can create a button here with a type of submit to submit this form through. We have a class here of button and button danger, do whatever you want. And in here, we're just gonna write in delete. So to go ahead and submit this then, let's just refresh and let's just hit delete and just see what happens. So we get a method not allowed HTTP exception. Now that's because we are setting our method to post, but we are expecting delete. Now, of course, within some kind of API, this is a lot easier, but within uh, HTML, we can't do this. It just won't work. So what we need to do is look at method spoofing. And to do this, we include a field within a form, a hidden field within a form, which will define out the method that we want to send this through as. So what we do is we use a helper, it's called method field, and in here we pass in the method uh, that we want to use. In this case, it's delete. Now you might be wondering, well, why are we even doing this? Well, the reason we're doing this is we're creating a really restful way to interact with our application. This means we have a root, to get tasks, this could actually be called tasks. We have post task, which we know will create a task, and we have delete task. So it just makes sense, it's very clear, it's very clean. So let's uh, refresh here, hit delete, and again, we get a token mismatch exception, but at least we've got round the fact that the method wasn't missing. We already know how to use cross-site request forgery tokens within our forms, so we just say cross-site request forgery field, and now when we hit delete, we should see that that works, perfect. So we now have the ability to delete a task, but how do we grab a task by its ID? Well, there are a couple of ways to do this and I'm gonna show you one way that you may do this and then I'm gonna show you a much easier way. So if we just do a die dump on task, and we get the task just through here. Now you might call this task ID. So let's just start out with that example. And this will be passed into this closure just here. So let's do a, do a die dump on task ID and refresh, hit delete, and we see one. For this one, we see two and so on. So what we could do is we could say task equals task, and we could say find task ID. Let's do a die dump on that and see what we get. So remember here what we're doing is using Eloquent to pick things out from our database for us. Let's hit delete and we see we get a task model. From that we can delete it, very easy. But we can also do things like where ID equals task ID. You could do this or omit it, it's entirely up to you. But what we want to do is look at something that's even easier. Now if I go ahead and get rid of task ID, change this to be called task and do a die dump on task. And I also type hint this 
here, when I refresh now, we actually get a task model. So we've not done anything in here to make this work. And this is within Laravel called root model binding. So what's actually happened here is that we've given this name task. So Laravel knows that we're probably trying to pull back a task model. We've type hinted this here. So what's happening is when we pass in a one or a two or a three or whatever, Laravel will automatically look this up in the database and this variable here will then become that task. So we now have a task that we can do something with. And of course, what we want to do is delete that task. So to delete a task, we say task delete, that will remove it from the database. And then we return and we redirect to the homepage, simple as that. So if we head over to here now, go over to the homepage, we can start to delete a task. So when I hit, hit delete on this one, it goes, same with this one, and then same with this one, and we end up with no tasks until we go and add a new one, like so. So that is pretty much it. We've gone ahead and built a very simple task list application, the ability to show tasks that we've stored, obviously store tasks with our validation. And of course, we've just now covered deleting tasks. So if you want to go on and do even more with this, e.g. work with user authentication and tasks, and also learn a lot more about Laravel, we have an intermediate course as well on cocourse.com that you can go ahead and follow. So that is basically it. We've created a task list application, the ability to obviously create a task, check with validation. We've also given the ability to list our tasks and then finally to delete our tasks as well.